Learning happens when reality doesn't match our expectations. If after we make a decision, something good and unexpected happens, our expectations will change in order to favor that same decision in the future. It has been thought that in the brain, only one signal is responsible for learning. This signal is called a prediction error. If we represent it in a graph, then it would increase linearly, going from a negative signal if something surprisingly bad happens, to no signal change if things match our expectations, to a positive signal if something surprisingly good happens. But traditionally, this brain signal was either studied using single cell recording, which could only target one area at a time, or using fMRI, which is a cool brain imaging technique showing where the brain is active, but without showing precisely when this activity occurs. In a series of new studies, neuroscientists from the universities of Oxford and Glasgow have combined classic fMRI simultaneously with EEG, another technique which involves recording electrical activity from the scalp and which gives precise information about when the brain is active. Together, these two techniques provide information about both where and when activity occurs in the brain as we make decisions. In these new studies, the scientists were able to show that separate brain signals are actually involved when we learn. Here are the key points of their discovery. Number one, some brain areas signal valence, meaning whether something is bad or good to either avoid it or approach it in the future. Number two, some other brain areas signal surprise, regardless of how good or bad things are. The important take-home message of these studies is that multiple brain signals occurring almost at the same time are at play when we are learning, rather than just one prediction error signal. Bit by bit, we're beginning to understand how our complex brain works, and there is still so much more to discover.